any true outdoorsman knows. It's not about catching a bigger fish or shooting a bigger deer than the next guy. It's about being out there and being fortunate enough to witness another sunrise. Go out each day and learn something new. It's about making memories and passing on a tradition. When we ever started doing this to be better than anybody else. We started this to add a new challenge. with a lifelong passion for the outdoors. I don't see that changing anytime soon. We're Paradigm Outdoors. Hey guys, it's Ryan, Paradigm Outdoors. Um, here we are, it's the second, or first week, sorry, first week of March here in upstate New York, and woke up this morning, negative 10. Negative 10. You wouldn't know we are less than two months away from our spring turkey season here in upstate New York, but despite the cold weather, you know, I think all of us are really gearing up and getting ready and getting excited for spring turkey season. Um, one thing I look forward to every year is hooking up with my buddy Kevin and going on his property. Um, I've been fortunate enough to go up there and hunt with him for, gosh, past, I would say, six, maybe eight years. Um, and it's just one of those places, like, you can be lazy and not have to scout these birds, not have to roost them and put them to bed at night. Um, you can just walk up in there and hunt and usually fire up turkey. So it's it's a it's a honey hole. Um, We've, we've doubled up there in the past. You know, we've had some really great hunts. Uh, this hunt here from 2018 that you guys are about to watch, um, you know, we were, we were targeting this one bird. This one seemed like the boss gobbler on the property. Um, he always had the most hens and stuff, but we hunted him early, second or third day of season, went up there, and he came out in the field where so many of the birds have been killed in that same field, and we were kind of back in the woods, but uh, he came out in that field, Gobble and strut and had three hens with him. Put on quite a show. It was really nice to really cool to watch. You know, it's always it's always fun even if you don't shoot them, but um, Didn't work out that hunt didn't work out, you know He obviously stayed with those hens and followed them off, but we thought we had a pretty good game plan and When the weekend came We decided to execute that game plan and try to get after him So we set up the direction they'd been traveling across that field um, and put some decoys out there and hoping to see if it would work. If those decoys worked their magic and uh, if we could sweet talk him into the decoys and that morning when we were when we walked up and through there, sure enough that bird was roosted right where we thought he was gonna, right where he had been and the game plan began to get put into play. So what you guys are about to watch, I hope you enjoy it and uh, Another great hunt up at my buddy Kevin's.
Listen, don't shoot till I tell you to, okay? Chases for an opening day, and uh, he was locked up with three hens. But came back Saturday morning, put some decoys out. <coughs> Excuse me, and this bird probably gobbled uh, generously 50, 60 times on the roost, hit the ground, coming on a string. Um, Kevin rocked him at about 30 yards. Nice shoot, buddy. Thank you. You bet. Early in the season. I think we hear another one firing off down on the other side of the property, so we're gonna go get at it. 